I tried to reach Mother. She's being stubborn. Mm. And I called Larry, told him you wouldn't be in today. I just said you weren't yourself. Boy, that's the biggest understatement of the year. <laughs> Darren, are you sure you're warm enough in that handkerchief? Well, it is a bit drafty. That's something I can fix. <laughs> Thanks, honey. I thought the vertical stripes would give you more height. Ma'am, I appreciate your standing behind me like this. Well, it's all part of the bargain. Bargain? You know. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For taller, for shorter. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, I I'll get that. Uh, don't go away. Where do you think I'm going? Oh, you little dickens. <laughs> just got him. He was taking us for a walk, and uh, he got off the leash. We noticed Mr. Stevens didn't go to work this morning. Nothing wrong, I hope. Oh, no. No, he just didn't feel up to it. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though. Funny he should get sick. I, I mean, he, uh, he looks so healthy and tall. Gladys. <laughs> Oh. 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 something up for Mr. Stevens. Sure, we understand. Darren? Darren, where are you? <laughs> He's not here. Who isn't here? Your dog, of course. <laughs> What is it, Gladys? Your dog's gone. I said he was in the backyard, Mrs. Stevens. Oh. He's, he's probably gone on a scavenger hunt. No matter what we feed him, he always wants more. <laughs> I'll eat anything that's not nailed down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 